Good morning, Hayyem Yem Yud Zayin Av. So today's Hayyem Yem is direct continuation from yesterday's Hayyem Yem, where the Mittler Rebbe said that while the Torah as a whole is sometimes referred to as fire and sometimes referred to as water, more specifically, the part of Torah known as Nigla, which is the base level and the surface level of Torah, that's called water, while the inner dimension of Torah, Hasidus, that is called fire. And the Tzemach Tzedek explained what we mean by these terms, why Nigla is called water and why this is called fire. So we said water is very cold and dispassionate. And therefore, when we say that Nigla is like water, what we mean is Nigla is very technical. It's very cold, it's very dispassionate, it's very dry. He said, well, fire is very warm, it's very alive, it's very passionate, it's very fiery. And therefore, saying that Hasidus is like fire means that Hasidus doesn't just touch your mind, it isn't just, it isn't just stimulating for the mind, it actually sets your heart on fire. It's much more humanistic, it's much more relevant to you, and therefore it's much more exciting and passionate and infuses your whole life and your whole Yiddishkeit and your whole Torah learning with a lot of energy, with a lot of, with a lot of zest, with a lot of life. You just feel very alive when you learn Hasidus. And then the Tzimel Tzedek demonstrated with an example, one example of where you see this, that the fire of Hasidus actually drives and gives passion for and builds up the nigla experience. And he said, because if you just learn a halacha nigla, if you just learn a passage in the Gemara or a halacha in Shulchan Arach, so while it might be interesting, the case is just very, very technical and has no real interest or relevance beyond the technical case that it's discussing. As opposed to once you start learning Hasidus, you start realizing that every line in Taira, every line in nigla, every line in halacha, every line in Gemara, is really referring to and is really describing spiritual truths and godly realities. And because of that, every line really has eternal relevance to the point that once we die, even once we die and we go to Gan Eden, so then we're going to see the spiritual realities of the universe, we are going to learn the same halachas we learned from this world that we thought we were talking about some random technical case, and then we're going to see what it really means and the real depth behind it and the real um, infinity behind the halacha and the real eternal relevance of the halacha. And just once you realize the amount of depth and the amount of eternal relevance that every line in Nigla has, once Hasidus allows you to realize that and see that, so every time from then on you learn you learn Nigla, every time you learn Shulchan Arach, every time you learn Gemara, you learn it with a new excitement and a new energy because you realize there's so much here, this is so amazing, this is so meaningful, this is so eternally relevant. Have a wonderful, wonderful day.